Thanks to Ubisoft for providing me with access to this wonderful game and content that there is there. I've also partnered with Ubisoft to produce this content as well. Also, here's the thing that I want to say. Prince of Persia The Lost Crown is coming to Steam on August 8th, which is today. At the very same time, you'll have this new experience. To experience a critically acclaimed, rarity defined Metro Devania inspired adventure through the time cursed watches of Mount Croft. It's available now on PC as well as Switch, PS5, PS4, Xbox, you know, all that jazz. It's available everywhere. So as long as you want to get it, you can go and get it. And it also releases on Steam with three free updates that's the Warriors Path, Boss Attack, and Divine Trials. And more content will be on the way when the story DLC Mask of Darkness arrives this September. As of now, all I can say is, this is sounding like a great game. I'm going to give you the reasons why I'm excited for the Steam release. And although I've not played the Prince of Persia Lost Crumb before, I can't wait to get into it. I'm just going to give you my reasons as to why I'm excited for the Steam release. Right, now let's begin. Here are the reasons why I'm excited for Prince of of Persia The Lost Crown and I'll be honest with you I think that the Prince of Persia series is coming back to us gamers I think we're in for a really really great time and in the future I think the Prince of Persia series might be remade into a proper souls like game in the future now I feel that it's a delve into Persian mythology this is a cursed Persian inspired world you know the Prince of Persia series, from what I know, has always been renowned for its puzzles, for its complex levels and where you have to defeat enemy bosses. It's called Great Parkour, that's another. And we'll be playing as Sargon as one of Persia's elite bodyguards, that is the Immortal. And we'll be going through this epic adventure. Now if that means deadly traps, then may the gods wish me luck. If that means solving puzzles that I have to face and mastering time-altering powers in the new areas of Mount Quaff, then why not? I won't spoil too much of the story, but suffice it to say, Sargon has an epic mission to save a queen's son. It's not a damsel in distress. But Sargon progresses through the game with limited health. So the more bosses you fight, the more you gain amulets that help your health and buffs at the same time. With Sargon's weapons, the chakram and bow, he'll be able to bounce off walls, jump, slide and parry at the same time. With the Athera gauge, he'll also summon special powers as well, and Mount Quaff, I think, is more than just a dangerous place. And you go home to various characters that will obviously help Sargon on his journey. And you got NPCs that have quests, items, upgrades in exchange for rewards. That's going to be great. And you have maps, special abilities to mark your important locations. And the game's world is designed to be explored gradually, with new areas opening up as Sargon gains new abilities. Honestly, I really, really wish that they would you know ubisoft would make a souls like game with an open world like elden ring but put sargon give us persian and sasanian history i think that would be so much great you know if you go to the lowest city as biomes and you go to the autumn autumnal forest you know the form is based around the urban and religious you have architecture that is based upon the Akhenemid and sasanian empires and also inspired by you know the hyrcanian forest and the lower city is also populated by undead soldiers. And you've got Prince of Persia's classic spinning spike traps. You've got the autumnal forest. You've got masked headdresses wearing guardians and floral platforms that bloom and fade as you leap on them. You now, Sargon possesses these unique powers related to time and space, including a dash and the ability to teleport short distances. These powers obviously will be crucial for combat, platforming, and puzzle solving. At the same time, it's not the first time I've played a Metro Devania style game, but I don't play them too much. But I am excited to try this new Prince of Persia game. It may be new today to Steam, but to many Prince of Persia players who probably have played this for the first time. No, I'm sorry, not for the first time. But for many Prince of Persia players that have played this before, you know exactly what this type of game is. There's a ton of new updates, free warriors, path, boss attack, and so much more. It's great that it's coming to Steam, but I would have still preferred it to be on Ubisoft Connect. But honestly, I'm stoked for the game 
I can't wait to get into the Prince of Persia series. And as someone that's new to the franchise, I want to get involved. I want to make more Prince of Persia content. And I would sincerely hope that I can try out this game and let's see what happens. And thanks to Ubisoft for, you know, helping me with uh, most of the stuff that is provided in the materials to make a video on this. And I just want to give more recognition to a fantastic video game series. Honestly, the Prince of Persia series used to be popular in my childhood. And now, I honestly can't wait to go and try it out. And maybe I do need to buy a retro PlayStation 2, a retro PlayStation 3 or 4 and play the Prince of Persia series on it. I think it's a great series, fantastic game and I can't wait to try it out. Also, don't forget to leave a like, share, comment and subscribe. If I do get access to this game, I will be live streaming this game often.